truck meal. <laughs> Easy peasy, Katie. Started the coast to coast hike. Max very kindly dropped me off at St. Bees, which is where I'm starting from. And I'm going to hike through the Lake District, the Orchard Dales, the North Yorkshire Moors to reach Robin Hood's Bay. The time is about, I think it's 7 pm nearly. That's the time. Half to seven, so getting on. So my plan is to hike for a bit, find somewhere to camp, have some food, get to bed, and go to Bailey and get a good hike on tomorrow. Hopefully my hiker legs will come to me and I'll get in the groove. But yeah, it's a good start so far. It rained on and off on the way here. There's a few rain clouds over there, but apart from that, fingers crossed, it should be hopefully good weather. But yeah, time to get a march on. doesn't rain tonight is because the clouds over the sea do not look promising but we'll see I'm gonna put a few more pegs on my tent just in case there's a group of ladies that were walking along here there's quite a few bird watching stations along this path so I think they were I'm um, looking at the birds but they've gone now and I'm gonna to go to bed so yeah good night and I'll see you in the morning I've left the coast. I thought I would give it a while until you could hear me because it was quite windy. One of the upsides of it being windy though was the fact that there was no dew on the grass. So my feet are lovely and dry and my tent's dry, which is great. So I'm now approaching the little village of Sandwith. Hopefully the rain's gonna hold off. I slept quite well last night. I think I woke up about two because it got quite windy. Um, and then I woke up at about half four this morning, packed down, and I'm now hiking. So it's about quarter past five now. So I'm hoping to get a few miles in before breakfast, and then I'll find somewhere, hopefully dry, and have something to eat. But yeah. I'm on the slow ascent to Dent, which is the climb for the day. Both want to get to the top of Dent, it's just coasting down into Ennerdale Bridge, I think. I'm currently in a really lovely pine forest.
time for the next climb of the day, which is up that way. I did a dent earlier. This one's a bit taller, about 600 meters. So it's up and up the valley and heading towards Borrowdale. It's really pretty here. Like if it was a bit later in the day, I'd be tempted to wild camp somewhere. I am done for the day. I think I've done about 27 miles. So I did two miles yesterday to get on the start of the trail. And I think I'm just on the outskirts of Borrowdale. And that's about 29 miles from the start. So it's been a really good day. And time's about half past four. So I'm, I was ready to call it a day. I found this lovely secluded spot. I come away from the trail a slight bit just to avoid people because it turns out the coast to coast is really busy. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be busy but it's also a Saturday so there's quite a few people milling about so I've kind of taken a slight detour and come away from the trail to find this spot. I'm hoping there's a nice flat that I can find but the grass is really nice, it's sh shaded, it's a bit windy but not too bad. But yeah I've just had some spice sensation couscous. I'm going to delve into my food bag and see what snacks I have for dessert. Then yeah, then I think I'm going to get the tent up, I'll probably read about what's going on tomorrow, and then get to bed. Well, good morning. I currently I'm passing through Ross White, if I'm pronouncing that right. I slept on the outskirts of Borrowdale. I'm hiking onwards, but I slept quite well, quite windy, but I got a good night's sleep, I think. I think it's trying to rain, so I'm going to have to put waterproofs on in a minute. But yeah, it's such a cosy little hamlet. I love all the little stone houses, they're so lovely. Onwards up there, so that's I think Green Up Valley, Green Up something. I have to go up and over Green Up, and that get me into Grasmere, where I can resupply.
we're so glad to be this side of the valley now. The other side, where I've just come out, come from, was so windy, but this one seems so peaceful and quiet in comparison. Just past Patterdale, I'm just on the way up this big hill behind me. So I just had a lovely drink, some food, put plaster on my little toe because it's a bit sore, and I'm going to keep on going. The weather's been really favourable. I'm kind of finding that it, it'll rain for about five, ten minutes, and then it'll just clear off. But you can only see it coming through the valleys, like a, a cloud of rain just coming. And that gives you time to put your waterproof gear on, and then it passes, and then it's dry. Sorry. <clears throat> Good evening I'm from the confines of my tent. As you may or may not be able to hear, it's raining, hence why I'm inside. Which is probably a good thing because there's a ton of midges outside. But they might all be gone now. But hey, how I'm in my tent. It's just gone 9 pm. I'm just on the outskirts of, well, it's probably a couple of more miles to hike until I get until I hit Shap. I've had a really good day and yeah, got some good mileage today. I think I started off on the outskirts of Borrowdale. Hiked through Borrowdale, got to Patterdale and now here. So I think I've done just under 30 miles, I think. But yeah, it's been a, really, been a really good day. Been a lot of climbing. So from Borrowdale, I hiked up Green Up Edge, then down into Grasmere, then up to Grisdale House down into Patterdale and then up to Kidsty Pike and then all the way down, steep steep down to come to rest on the edge of Hawes Water which is where I am now. It's really peaceful here. I'm just camped beside the water. There's actually some wild campers camping over there and um, so I've come away I'm kind of just hiding near the edge of the lake. I'll try and get some more pictures and videos tomorrow and I'm looking forward to hiking along the river at first light tomorrow. Yeah, it's been a really good day. I'm ready for bed. Whew. I'm gonna get out my sleeping bag, 
get my little space here ready for bed and I'll see you in the morning. Peace and quiet on this side of the shore is so nice. Where I was camping, just over there, I'm like going out jetty. So windy, but here, really peaceful. I'm glad it's blue skies. There's some dark clouds over there on the horizon, but hopefully they'll be blown away. Such a nice morning. Hiking first thing is probably one of my favorite things to do. If you're here in Lake District to where it's so busy, hiking up, hiking first thing, I probably don't see anyone for about three or four hours. So it's not until about nine or ten that I see someone. Today's Monday morning, so it's probably going to be a lot quieter here. And it is my last day in the Lake District because by the time I get beyond Shap, I'll be entering into the Yorkshire Dales. So that's quite exciting. 